hello! Welcome back to Gaming with Saharian. I am your gamer selfies, and yes, this is the first time that you guys are actually hearing my voice. Hi! Okay, so if you are someone who follows me on Twitch, you're probably hearing my voice and probably hearing a lot of languages that I talk to. Okay, Russian, Arabic, French, English, and Japanese. Well, very rusty Japanese. It's been since, what, 2016 since last school. So yeah. Anywho, so as you can see, uh, excuse me for a moment. And we are back. Hello, hello. So this game is called Volzerak, and it's such a cute game. Now I played it already on Twitch, so I know a little bit of the ins and outs of what I need to do. And to be honest, in this video, I will be only playing the story quest. So from episode one to episode five, no, six, they have six episodes. Now, typically that would mean also I have to play the entire game through. It's probably going to be over like seven to eight hours of footage, just to let you know. So I will be putting it on parts. This is part zero and one. Just to let you know, okay? Okie dokie. Also, Volzerax is similarly, or at least this is my opinion, it is very similar to Pokemon, but also to... I'm not gonna say Genshin Impact, no. But to... Uh, what's the other video game? Um, uh, Neo Monsters, there you go. I think they have the same similar like similar creator if not similar origins also this one has a VA in Japanese secondly which is something that I really love the graphics are beautifully done and here's the thing the only hiccup that I have personally again this is my opinion is that it has a lot of download screens which kind of hinders a little bit of the quality of the of the stream but also of uh, the video like the quality of playing however here's the thing I am saying this as someone who actually plays video games for a living this is probably one of the cutest and also one of the best games that I have played in a while that are new by the way this this has launched only like two months ago like it's really really new and it has a little bit of a niche a very niche uh, audience on Twitch which for me personally I have taken a lot of niche games that I've been playing including RuneScape Old School and RuneScape the new version as well as Heatherstone also I play Warhammer 40k I play this specifically the Tactics, which is available on Android. Uh, Dark Tides and Darker Tides, also Dragon Air, Silent Gods. Uh, these are similar to kind of like an Android version of Elden Ring and Skyrim, but also like for Warhammer. Warhammer is a whole other like tobacco on its own. So just to let you know. So, yeah, there's that.
たなんだねこれあー
I would have appreciated like when they do translation, they do human translation instead of word to word. Because there's a lot of context that you can like Because in my study, I've studied languages, for those of you who don't know about me. Which, I might actually do a, uh, a 10 facts about me as well. Oh my god. Okay, this... <clears throat> Again, they have sort of like similar mechanics to... Oh. I said it before in the stream, god dang it, I forgot. Uh, it's, in, uh, it's in a format of... Uh, kind of to handle... No, you will see what I mean. I didn't know what type of skill that uh, Drago actually had. Oh no.
the mechanics are really great actually now that I think about it they are very easy and very intuitive if I must say however for me specifically this type of game is much better on PC but then again that's just my opinion that's just my little humble opinion about the lore behind this game exactly to be realistic so I'm actually discovering it just with you guys uh. reason of the name Saltines? It's kind of because of a drag queen. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's actually because I love salty things and I was always known as Saltines. Well, at least in my childhood. Yes, I am an older person right now. So just This is one fact about me. Actually, I have, I've had three nicknames. Actually, four nicknames. 
growing up. One of them was saltines. However, saltines wasn't from my family. It was actually from my friends. Because they always found my my face stuffed with something salty. Hence, saltines. As in saltines cracker. Which is what I actually loved to eat when I was a kid. Oh! 